hi guys good evening this is shuraj thelang so uh, this is my first video on youtube so i would like to tell you today about the azure and uh, azure devops integration part so how to do just uh, first of all i would like to tell the theory of azure and azure devops so to uh, uh, like uh, integrate with uh, azure what we need to do what is the procedure and how to do it just uh, i would like to go uh, with practically so while uh, if i'm telling like uh, theoretically here uh, then it's not like uh, that much of effective right so i'm going so first of all we need like a prerequisite i would like to tell you here so first of all we need azure devops and azure both account so if you don't know how to create the azure account azure cloud account then you can just go uh, and uh, search on google how to create the azure uh, azure cloud account and just you will get the uh, free minutes there you can uh, create that if you need like uh, credit cards and all those things i'm not going in deep uh, so uh, first of all i'm going to the azure see this is my azure account and i am putting here password so no need because i had saved the password so just you know after going to the azure first of all we need to create we need to go here into the uh, infra id microsoft infra id if we are going into the microsoft infra id then we need to go to the apps registrations if we are going to the app registrations then we need to register here we need to click on new registration and we need to give here name any name uh, uh, like uh, the user facing display name for application any name you can type here just i am going to give here uh azure with azure integration azure devops integration will write this azure devops okay i'm giving this name you can uh, give any name then first uh, this is azure devops integration then take here web then go and register after that we need to go here in uh, certificates and secrets we need to create this uh, new client secret then we need to put here any name like uh, azure devops okay any name you can put here and you can copy this if you don't copy then again you need to come and uh, select this because of this value will go uh, it'll, uh, it will be grayed out after some time once it will be shown here so just to open your notepad and paste here okay uh, then no problem will come again then after that we need to go to the subscription okay then in subscription we need to go to the uh, access control iam whenever we are uh, providing uh, like uh, service connections or integra uh, uh, integrating with the uh, like each other services that time this iam role is working uh, always so uh, that's called access control management so now we are here access control manager then we need to add a role uh, for the access control manager go here and add role assignment if you uh, done this add role assignment go into the privilege administrator roles here are different 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 very much different so that rules are here we can give permission or we can give uh, add role for this so we are not going here now now we need to go to the privilege administrator and select the contributor and go ahead then we need to select members whatever we had created the service principle there we need to put here we had given the azure devops something name right 
if I am putting Azure DevOps, then it is taking right Azure DevOps integration we had created there in uh, uh, app registration, right? So we need to take this select and this is IDC. Then review and assign, review and assign. So if you added the uh, like uh, role for IAM, then you need to create uh, first of all, we'll go uh, into the Azure DevOps. So now I'm going to the Azure DevOps. Guys, my Azure DevOps is open here already. So uh, ju just a moment guys. See, this is my Azure DevOps account and I had created the uh, Sintel Atos project. Whatever you want to give, uh, you, you can uh, provide the name like organizational uh, organization name. You can take anything and after that, after that, uh, okay, this is Intel Atos. This is the organization company name, organization name. Then you need to go inside and create the project. I have created already this Honeywell project. Okay, then we need to go into the project setting because of the service connection is giving for the project purpose only. So that's why we are going into the project and come down here. Here is a service connections into the service connection. You can go here new service connection and you can choose Azure resource manager and next then we are going here uh, we are doing through service principle manual so next and whatever we have created now through the Azure cloud so that all information we need to fill up here so I'm going there uh, one by one we'll put so first of all this environment we need to keep as it is then subscriptions we need to keep as it is then go to the subscription id you uh, go to the azure cloud copy subscription id copy subscription name paste here and then principal id whatever those are there so i would like to uh, create here some notes and uh, i would like to show you you can take the screenshot for that because uh, uh, after some time we can forget the names like uh, you know if we want to put a service principal id so there is no service principal id as per my knowledge knowledge if you are going in inside the uh, azure and suppose you are going here and uh, microsoft intra if you are going here then app registration right then into the app registration we have created it already azure DevOps integration if you are going here then here are the some ids here is that uh, principal uh, which id we were saying that service principal id so here it is service principal id we call application id application or client id that's called service principal id so likewise uh, i'll create the one note uh, in uh, note, notepad and I'll write the names properly then you can take screenshot guys nothing you can keep in mind so now I'm going one by one I'm going to the subscription because here first of all it's asking us subscription ID right so I'm going to the subscription and copying this subscription ID okay copied and paste into the subscription ID okay then subscription name oh don't click there guys just copy this if you copy this then go here and paste in subscription name then service principal id so we need to go into the azure and we need to go into the microsoft intra id and there app registrations which uh, already we, we did it so this service principal id is application client id copy this and paste into the service principal id then we need service principal key so 
we had created already services principal key and i had said that we need to copy uh, first and paste somewhere and i think i had pasted into the notepad also but then you will if we are not getting it uh, grayed out then we'll take another okay so this is the tenant id uh, we need oh go to the here only app registrations here azure devops then we need to go inside the certificates and secrets and here is see guys i had created this uh, but i had told you this will be like a grayed out or this will be like a star 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 it will not work now so we need to create again this and azure devops If I'm putting Azure DevOps and doing add, adding it, then this is the value. Which call will go here? Which call service principal key? So we are pasting here. Now uh, last but least uh, tenant ID, right? So go here only in overview. This is the tenant ID, guys. Guys, this is my first video in YouTube if they are uh, like uh, if i'm making some mistakes then understand that and support me guys if i click on verify then it is very verification is succeeded right always after putting this all information always verification succeeded this message needs to become here after that only we are uh, like succeeded here then after that service connection name so here whatever we are, we are putting here service connection name that service connection name we need to put into the pipeline azure DevOps pipeline i'll uh, show you that also where we need to put uh, because uh, you'll get the confused now but i'll show uh, till the time just uh, i would like to uh, show you here only connection okay so uh, whatever you want to give name you can provide here azure devops okay azure devops integration So this is the Azure DevOps integration. Uh, if we are giving the name, then grant access permission to all pipeline. Click here and verify and save. So guys, whatever we have given the name here, Azure DevOps integration, it is created, right? So it means now Azure DevOps and Azure both integrated each other. Now we can go to the pipeline. I would like to show you how it can be work so how it will work uh, uh, i wanted to say so uh, i haven't created uh, the web app so i'm going to create the app service uh, uh, then create web app because this uh, needs to be uh, run on the web app so first of all we need to create the uh, like uh, one resource group so we can uh, give here any like a new rg so any name you can give here new rg this is the service uh, group name and now we can put here uh, any name for the uh, service group name like uh, azure integration so sorry uh, we can give here name for uh, the web purpose web app which will be running uh, uh, uh taking this all information there uh, uh, after deploying the uh, like a project it will run in this uh, web app that's why we can give here the name uh true name like uh, what is the project name suppose my project is about the calculator so i, I would like to give here uh the calculator name so like calculator dot app or calculate calculator net dot app like this C A L C U L E A T O R calculator app net because guys it's not taking here like a dot and anything extra like a special character is not taking here that's why I put here calculator app net so uh, my project suppose my project is a dot net six LTS then I'll select this and if uh, central India 
okay uh, if uh, any any region you can take here so i am selecting central india then go ahead next to database uh, create a database we are not creating any database this is simple project suppose so i am not creating then go ahead, go to the monitor and uh, uh, do uh, select here no because of we can uh, save the billing then create and review review and create and create so why i have created these guides because uh, i wanted to uh, tell you that uh, like uh, after creating after build and uh, uh, after building the like project where we need to deploy after deploying the project where we can see uh, what is the like uh, website for this project so we can uh, see the website from here so this is the web based project that's why just i have created web here just uh, it is creating now see deployment in progress we can we can go here now go to resource and this is the default domain web so we can copy this and if we are putting here in the new browser so we can check yeah guys this is my first youtube project and successfully it is running guys see this website is running successfully your web app is running and waiting for your content so we will see in next video whatever we want to like uh, we can deploy this this was the small project sorry this was the only ser service connection will uh, takes one small project and we'll see in a uh, next project all these things okay guys tab tak ke liye bye bye take care